Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this sprinkler valve into a sweet trigger for your potato gun. Alright guys, so this is all you need to make your trigger. Um, of course you need the sprinkler valve. I use the one inch one to give you the best volume of air. Um, I'll try to link everything in the description so you can find this stuff easy. Um, the actual trigger itself is just a, a regular blow nozzle for an air compressor. Um, you can get a cheaper one. This one's like 16 bucks because it's fancy and such. Um, you need a couple fittings. So this half inch male thread to quarter inch female thread just to adapt the blowgun to it. And then you'll need a quarter inch double male nipple. Um, you'll need a half inch, a half inch tap for iron half inch iron pipe size um i you i like to use the um instant epoxy and uh this one it mixes itself in the tube so it's the fastest and easiest you'll need that to glue the stuff into it so it makes sure it stays um and just a couple of tools a couple crescent rinses crescent wrenches um you'll need thread tape as well just to make sure everything gets sealed up and yeah let's get started all right now we got all that out so the first thing we need to do is disassemble this so we can get to the spots that we need to seal to make this actually work the way we want to So this is the solenoid that would usually let the water through, but we're going to make a manual one instead of electronic one. So the first spot is right in the middle there. There's a tube that runs down through it and pops out this side. So we need to seal this end up and that end up. And we'll do that with the epoxy. I'll try to get this on camera, which is not gonna work. Yeah. So, Boom, and those are the two spots you have to fill. So the next step is to, after you let this dry, um, the next spot step is to tap this for the half inch threads so we can fit the blow off valve onto it. So there's already threads in there and it's pretty close. So if you just get it started. And there we go. So now what I like to do is just coat this with epoxy. Because this is what we really need to seal. And screw it in.
boom. Touch up any spots that you missed. Just uh, make sure that it's really sealed. And there we go. Yeah, don't work on your furniture. <laughs> All right, next step is you want to get your thread tape and tape this up. Then we put tape on this side as well. Now three to four wraps is usually good. Now we can screw our trigger on. Now, another thing you wanna pay attention to is the direction of flow. So you wanna have your trigger forward. So make sure when you're tightening it that you have your orientation positioned the correct way. And there we go. Now you have a full weight trigger used with a sprinkler valve. You can attach your air tank to this side and your barrel to this side. And when you pressurize your tank, you'll have one inch of full airflow at the pull of a trigger. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this helped you out on your, your air gun fun. Um, if you liked the video, throw a like. Um, if you have any questions, throw a comment down there and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. Appreciate it, guys. See you on the next one.